and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you today to the event celebrating Veena Ramani's autobiography. Could I please request Ms. Veena Ramani and Sahida Amit to please come onto the dance? This is on? Yes. At the outset, outset, <laughs> I first of all want to say thank you all for being here tonight on this very special occasion, this landmark moment in my life. And secondly, since I sincerely apologize for the delay, I had intended to be here at 6.30 and welcome a lot of you to, with a cup of tea uh, with me, uh, which I missed completely because we've been stuck in one spot in house cars. Um, outside of House Cars Village, as a matter of fact, with the wedding happening, and we, we were just stuck there. It's a terrible look, feeling. We, we could move left, right, back, or front. But thank you for having the patience, and we're going to get off straight away to a wonderful session and invite a lot of um, response from you when we're done over here. And very fortunate to have Dr. Sai Saeed Hamid, someone who I hugely admire, to be here as my um, conversationalist, and plenty more. Thank you for coming by today. It gives me pleasure to welcome you to this event celebrating Bina Romani's autobiography, Bird in a Banyan Tree, published by Rupa. Bina Romani needs no introduction. A fashion designer, entrepreneur, social worker, agony aunt, visionary, socialite. She's a writer with many labels. She currently works towards rehabilitating child victims of sexual abuse and empowering underprivileged women across the globe. Bina Romani's newly released autobiography chronicles her journey. From a child refugee during partition to the owner of a string of celebrated initiatives in Horskas village and beyond, to a fearless a witness during the Jessica Lal murder case. Tonight, she will be in conversation with Dr. Saida Hamid a committed women's rights activist and a member of the Planning Commission. Dr. Hamid is also the founder member of the Muslim Women's Forum and South Asians for Human Rights. She is one of the founder trustees of Women's Initiative for Peace in South Asia and of the Center for Dialogue and Reconciliation. May I, to begin with, request Mr. Kabish Mehra, the MD of Rupa Publications, to share a few words with us. Thanks, Dani. Uh, a very good evening to Veena, our dear author, Dr. Saida Hamid, distinguished panelists, uh, ladies and gentlemen, friends from the media. First of all, uh, thank you for joining us on a Monday evening in Delhi for a book launch uh, with so many social and other attractions. I think, uh, certainly, thank you very much for being here. Publishers at book launches are essentially supposed to be doing three things. They're supposed to be talking very highly about the book, they're supposed to be talking very highly about the author, and they're supposed to be asking all of you to buy a copy of the book. So I'll, I'll go in that order. Uh, talking highly about the book, now there are very, very many ways to talk highly about the book. Um, you can talk about how, how profound it is, how well written it is, how from the heart it is, etc., etc. But I'd rather actually choose a factual approach to this rather than a philosophical one. There are, while, while describing the book and, and while coming to this book launch, I thought, should we talk about the sincerity of writing? Should we talk about how direct the author is when she talks about incidents in her life, etc., etc.? And I thought, there are many ways one has described these books, but the best way probably to describe this book is that um, amongst many, many customers we send this book to, there was one particular customer we'd send this book to in Allahabad out of all places. It wasn't a Bombay, it wasn't a Goa, it wasn't etc. It wasn't a Chandigarh. Um, and uh, this fellow from Allahabad is a small bookshop about 150 square square feet etc. Small, not 150 but yeah, 500 square feet. And um, he he said, you know, you send me three copies. Don't you think you're not doing you're not, you're not doing justice to this book? I think you should be sending me about at least five or seven more because I'm sure I'll sell it off. And I'm happy to report today at this uh, today's evening that that 
single customer who had this 500 dollars square feet bookshop in Allahabad that sold about 25, 30 copies. Now, as an indicator of a best seller, a, book, uh, a person like that would probably have sold about 15, 20. You know, this fellow is almost you know, one double of that. That indicates the kind of interest that this book has received, not only from the urban parts of India, not only from the Delhi, Bombay, Madras, Goa, etc., etc., but also parts where people have heard about Meena, they would have wanted to know more, but the, the ability to access that life, that story, uh, was was not there. So I think um, talking very highly about the book, uh, I think that's point one taken care of. Um,